Okay, we're going to fix this light switch uh, from a hunter ceiling fan. It keeps on flickering. So, what we have is we've we did a little bit of research and found out that it's this box here that controls everything. So, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to cut these wires and we're going to bypass it. We're going to bypass these wires here. Okay, so we're just going to bypass these wires here real quick and see if it'll work for what we needed to do because it's just been flickering on and off and did a little bit of research and this is supposedly what's going to help it so just be real careful and not try not to cut your fingers off always let a professional do this but if not if you want to do it yourself this is a quick and easy way to save some money for all us cheap motherfuckers. Oh, my sister's slapping me on the head because she doesn't want me to say any bad words, but it's okay. So I'm doing here. I'm just running on a on a straight blade utility knife just to take the plastic off and re remove the wires on there. So we're going to put the pink with the black, which go directly to the light, twist those over, and I got some wire nuts in here that I like using. So we're just going to tie those up with some wire nuts. I'm trying not to make this video that long so you guys don't get discouraged with it. So, just twist them on there. Get the other one. White on white. As well, twist that on there. Just whatever you can with your fingertips. That's done, just put your wire nut under, let the wire nut do its work. You'll feel it once it starts getting tight on there, it'll start spinning the wires. So once it's tight, just double check that. And uh, let's see if it works. And there we go. Dang! It works. So that's just um, bypassing the wires on a Hampton, just to, on a Hunter, sorry, on a Hunter just to make the bypass. I don't know what this is, but that's about the quickest way to do it.